first thing that strikes me when I come to this university is the tagline, the garden of knowledge and virtue. We think uh, this concept of a garden has a more deeper understanding of what knowledge is all about. Uh, we come to the university, we do not see the garden, we see the building. The building is so overpowering, the building is so uh, distracting to my mind. So hence when I ask people around where is the garden, uh, most of them do not uh, see where the garden is. So I thought the first thing that I want to do is to bring back this concept of a garden, uh, which is beyond that of the university. And this garden, as we have correctly pointed out, it is about the knowledge and the virtue. So how does knowledge and virtue come together in a philosophical sense? Eh? Uh, of course, when we look at the garden, normally you will see whatever is on the ground, above the ground. So you see the trees, the leaves, the trunks and everything else. That to me represents something which is very tangible. That's perhaps the knowledge that we produce, the books, the lecture halls, the, you know, uh, the publications, whatever else that we do in terms of research. Uh, the tangible part of it that we produce and an outcome of what we do as scholars, as students and also as, as academicians. But what we do not see I think is more important than what we see above the ground. What we do not see is probably the roots. And if we try to link a tree with the roots, I mean, there's no tree that can grow as nice and as healthy if there is no roots attached to it. Not only no roots, but the root must be also healthy and also robust at the same time. It is a reflection of the kind of knowledge that we produce. Good trees will have good roots. You cannot imagine a good tree with very small roots or vice versa. So what gives rise to a tree is basically the roots. And the roots to me are the virtues. Until we get the virtues right, we will not get the tree right. And what is the virtues? The virtues are all the values, the Islamic values, the Islamic understanding of what we are trying to do in this university. Your integration, your internationalization, your Islamization must be understood from that point of view. These are very intangible. You cannot, you cannot uh, hold them, you cannot uh, uh, produce them in, in numbers. You only can feel them, it's part of your emotion, it's part of your drive, it's part of the inspiration that gives rise to this tree that we talked about. So that kind of a philosophical understanding must be here, that we come here, we nurture our internal uh, motivation and aspiration that drives us to do more than what we can do. And that is what the garden is all about. So if you go to the lobby, you will see this ayat uh, from Ibrahim 24 to 27 that talks about, you know, a good tree is where the roots are well anchored. If the roots are not well anchored, the tree will fall. And for us, it's the same thing. If our roots are well anchored, it doesn't matter what comes to us. Uh, in terms of globalization, internalization, westernization, colonization, we are able to withstand it because we are well anchored. Our values are well defined. We know who we are uh, and therefore we can push them back or we can give alternatives. We don't have to fight them in a, in a, in a manner that we do today, but we can intellectually push them back because we have got our own frame of mind, worldview, and all the philosophical understanding that we need to have. And therefore, this is something that I think this university must nurture. What are we about? We are about an international Islamic university, but what does that mean to us in a philosophical sense, taking from the garden of knowledge and virtues to start off with. Once you get that right, then I think this whole uh, concept of university becomes even wider because a garden is something that the Quran asks us to reflect on.